what can be copyrighted and what cannot be starting with you mark okay so first of all um <clears throat> the the copyright act has as it frequently does laundry lists of things that fall under the statute a list of categories of works that are capable of copyright protection and josh identified most of them there artistic and creative works such as musical works literary works whether fiction or non-fiction choreographic works architectural designs um, paintings and sculptures um, basically if you think about the realm the universe of creative works those are the works that are subject to copyright protection provided they are original and fixed in a tangible medium if it's just an ephemeral performance that's not captured or recorded, that's not subject to copyright. Things that are not subject to copyright, first of all, um, maybe Josh, you'd like to chime in with the statutory site and talk about things that are not subject to copyright. As Mark had said, the, the statute actually lists a number of works that are protected. Um, and they're more or less what we discussed. There's literary works and musical works and dramatic works, pantomimes and choreographic works pictures and sculptures, motion pictures and audio audiovisual works, uh, sound recordings and architectural works. And there's other things too that are not specifically listed, but which fit into one of those categories. Computer software code, for example, slides into literary work. Um, and there are other examples as well, but those are the broad outlines. What is specifically not covered are broadly think, speaking, things that are either functional or too nebulous to capture. Um, and the, the, the act lists uh, ideas, procedures, processes, systems, methods of operation, concepts, principles, or discoveries. All of those things are either not protectable at all or are protectable in some other form, probably patents. To amplify on that, things that are considered uh, factual, facts are not copyrightable. So, when you think about a combination of ideas, facts, or processes, for example, under American law, recipes are not copyrightable, nor are particular print fonts copyrightable in the United States. Though they are elsewhere. They, though they are elsewhere, because they fall under ideas, facts, methods, processes. So while there are certain principles that are transnational in nature. There are always certain national uh, quirks with respect to uh, copyright law. So for example, you can get a copyright in a font in Europe, but you can't in the United States. 